Hi. Let's take a look at 752. And we'll start with search plugin improvements. Um, first, uh, just a minor thing, but I think it helps usability that in all search plugins, we've added the plugin icon to the top left corner because the plugins were uh, the search was looking quite same in all of them. So having the icon there just makes it more clear. And then uh, more extensive improvements we've done for um, the motion search. So motion search now has a camera area that can be used for playback. And uh, let's add a camera there. And then obviously normal way you can use the masking to, to define the place where you want to seek motion from. Um, then uh, if we select uh, start and end time and, and perform a search. And here is me doing a search for Sunday which wasn't very productive. I did this video yesterday and I just did what I usually do to go back one day and, and do a search. So pretty soon I realize it and then I'll stop the search and do it for Friday. Yeah. So we also changed the layout a little bit to match thumbnail search. So here is the search going on. Um, and when it finishes, you'll see the search time progressing to the end time. Now it found 16 results. Now here's the difference. When you click on the result, the playback window instantly changes to show the time. And also you can adjust the size of the camera like this by dragging. And then again, when you click on the result, you can also hit play and you'll see what happens. And you can keep on clicking on the results and the play will continue and jump to the place where you uh, hit. Now, again, a second thing is this review playback mode. So you just choose the first one and let it play through the results. It will always jump from the end of a motion result to the beginning of next motion result. So this way uh, it's easy to review movement on a certain area for a whole time. For example, a couple of days you can easily review with uh, fast forward and uh, you find the place where something has happened. We also added a, a toggle switch for more or large thumbnails. If somebody wants to use larger size thumbnails where it's more easy to see already from the search result. Uh, what's happened. Uh, the original double clicking opens in, in, in it in a new tab is still there. But I think these re uh, changes make the motion search much more usable than before. Um, in addition, we've done a new plugin which is called Thumbnail Search. And this is uh, not having motion search capability, but it is basically a way to review what happened between a start time and end time. And then visually you find the place where something interesting happened. So now here, um, I'll use small uh, because my monitor is so small. Uh, here uh, we'll try to find first uh, a good example of what I mean. So we'll try to find a place where something happened. Here I know, uh, you notice from the sc uh, screen, the uh, something has moved in our production. So I want to find out who moved that and when. So I can just now keep on clicking on the last result that doesn't show the change and just Clicking, it dives in to deeper and deeper into the time until here I find the place where somebody has moved the boxes. 
and then I can click play and review and confirm that that is that was what happened and that was the event that moved uh, the, the boxes in the production. So you notice that uh, reviewing a couple of days of material like this was a lot faster than using motion search to review it because motion search would have given us all the results I with motion in this place and you take a long time to review it. But now when you just use your eyeballs and look when the change was there, then it's faster. That's why that's what thumbnail search does. And the next new plugin that we've done is camera carousel. And I'll demonstrate it with a, a grid of two by two. So no, wha now what you can do is you can add a plugin called Camera Carousel and then what uh, you'll drag cameras into the carousel like this. I'll just do three cameras here and adjust the time and start the tour. And what you have now is a normal spotter grid with camera tour in one of the cells. And you can uh, you know, use normal auto cropping to make it look more pretty. Uh, the playback never affects camera carousel. Camera carousel is live always. Playback is for the other cameras on the tab. So this is a way to keep on monitoring live situation when you're using uh, playback to review some situation. With the controls, you can cycle through the cameras, you can pause the tour, you can play, uh, continue the tour. Um, you can add cameras to the tour, you can uh, remove cameras from the tour. And you can even use the edit mode to adjust individual zoom levels. And obviously this all saves into uh, layouts, so you, you can... Um, um, define camera tours and use them in the grid that way. And also it saves into this tab share uh, uh, feature, which I will be demonstrating in, in a couple of minutes. And here is uh, just a demonstration that the uh, camera tour is there when I open the layout. And here, just a demonstration that uh, the zoom can also be used with camera carousel. I can zoom in and then continue the tour from there, and it'll cycle through the zoomed images. Then uh, a much desired feature is uh, faster exporting, which we call secure export format. So um, for reference, we will first do a export with uh, old way using uh, ASF. So this is a video clip uh, that we can export. Sorry, a camera. Um, uh, I'm using a video clip there. So let's export uh, something like um, yeah, five minutes, and then we do ASF. Yep, and export. And then this should take a few minutes. 
and I'm not going to speed up the video because you know demonstrating the difference between the old and the new exporting so you can enjoy the wait Okay, now it was done. So then we can do a comparison with the secure export format from the exact same material, doing the exact same thing, authenticity verified export. And no music this time. Oh, it was done. That was fast. So it's something like uh, 15 to 20 times faster to do it with secure export format compared to ASF. I'm not going to open the clips here, but you can experiment with this on your own time. And then uh, uh, tab share. So uh, what we've done here is a way to do like a mini layout. So let's open four cameras into the tab. And then what we can do is save the tab settings. So uh, demo, demo tab and save. And then we can close the tab and go back and saved contents and demo tab and we, it opens here. So it's, it's not a complete layout, it's just opening a saved tab into here and you can uh, also open uh, uh, when we've finished with this um, you can um, open tabs with a keyboard shortcut with the number uh, you can open them from the mouse over new tab uh, menu uh, and also using this feature it is possible and much more easy to open saved tabs into AVM and this is uh, the main method of opening uh, for example camera carousel or web browser to AVM okay we've also done a uh, countdown IO I'll probably demo that later I haven't got it working right uh, quite yet but it should be in 752 and spotter player now opens clips when a uh, user drags clip on top of it so that's it for 752 um, i think very very nice features um, and i hope you have a chance to try it out with the beta thank you